We are going to have a little, a, a little wrap up here, but I, I don't want to go without um, having a friend of ours come here because this election in 2014, as somebody, somebody mentioned to me, forget 2016, 2014, we have to win. And we have to keep all the congressional seats. So we're going to have Rhonda come up and say a few words. Rhonda, Rhonda's running for Congress. Great. Well, good afternoon. This has been absolutely wonderful. Thank you so much. I appreciate you putting this on. It is long, long overdue. And I want to thank Dan Severson as well for his work with the Minority Alliance. It is so critically important to our future success as a, as a party within not only the great state of Minnesota, but throughout the nation. Just to give you a little background about myself, I am very proud to be running for Congress in the 6th Congressional District. I am... <laughs> My name is Rhonda Siva Ranja. And I know it's a toughie. And I probably don't look um, as though I quite match that name. Um, my maiden name was Larson. I know that probably would have been a lot easier for many of you. In fact, the first time that I decided to run for office, this is a very true but kind of sad story. My husband actually said, you can't run with that last name. You have to take back your maiden name. You're never going to win with that name. And I said, well, you know, that's not really who I am. And if I can't get it with this last name, then it's just not meant to be. So um, anyways, I have been married for 23 years. We have two children, a son who is in college, freshman year, and a daughter who attends public school. She's in 11th grade. I grew up in Cambridge area, attended St. Cloud State University. And my dad was a merchant marine, which meant he was gone most of the time. So my mother was the one that pretty much raised our, us girls and instilled in us the value of hard work. You know, one of the things that I see happening is that our freedoms, bit by bit, seem to be slipping away. You know, my husband came here as an immigrant from Malaysia for freedom, hope, an opportunity. And I don't see that that is going to be the same bright future that our children are going to have. And so we need people who are going to be willing to stand up and fight for those freedoms. I first became an Anoka County Commissioner 11 years ago. I came on that board as a lone conservative voice, one out of seven. And those first few years were pretty rough. The first time I said, that I was against a budget and voted no, the chairman of the county board pulled me aside and said, we don't do those kind of things around here. <laughs> and so I basically told him, well, I was not elected to be a rubber stamp for the rest of you. And I am going to vote the way that my constituents would want me to vote. And people started to pay attention because they agreed with the principles that we that are conservative principles. And so over time, eight long years, I built a conservative majority for the first time in Anoka County's 150 year plus history. Yes. And with that, I was elected as chair of the county board and we didn't just sit back and say, okay, we've accomplished what we wanted. We delivered on our core conservative principles. We reduced the county property tax levy, 7.43% the first year, one of two counties in the entire state to reduce the levy. The second year we reduced it again, reduced it again for this next year. In fact, our tax burden for next year mirrors what it was <coughs> 10 years ago. I don't think there's too many places in the We took out our debt issue. We took out the unions and repealed the prevailing wage ordinance that had been in place. So there's lots of times that as Republicans, we want to talk about the things that we're going to do. It's so easy to talk about what we're going to do. It's much more difficult to put your head down and get the work done. You know, if I had gone out and told the unions, 
we're going to get you, we're going to repeal the prevailing wage. <coughs> we would have had angry masses coming through the door. But again, I think that too many times as Republicans, we want to kind of poke that angry bear and get the other side all ginned up, and then we wonder why we're not successful. <laughs> you know, I have a proven record of being able to get conservative Democrats and independents to vote for me. Not because they agree with me, but because I treat them in a respectful manner. So if you take a look at my district in 2012, it was obviously a very bad Republican year. I got 64% of the vote. <laughs> Nick Romney in my district got 56 and Michelle Bachman got 49%. So I've proven that I'm a, a vote getter. So I would ask that you would allow me to take those same conservative principles and the history of delivering real results rather than just talking about doing things to Washington, D.C. Because I will represent you in the same manner in Washington, D.C. that I have represented the constituents of Anoka County for these past 10 years. Thank you so much. I better move to Anoka County, baby. <laughs> <laughs> I'm buying an apartment over there, a condo. <laughs>